Weekdays, 10 at 10. What are the odds an Apple Valley man was in his yard when a weather balloon dropped from the sky? And now Fox 9 has helped him figure out where it came from. Leo Bino joins me now. Leah, this is a pretty cool mystery for this guy. Yes, but once uh, we found the serial number on it, it was pretty easy to trace where it came from. The National Weather Service in Chanhassen. This is one of more than a thousand locations routinely launching weather balloons around the world. Still, as our own Ian Leonard says, the likelihood of nearly getting hit by one, someone has a better chance of getting hit by lightning. Austin heard a big thump right behind me and I turned around and this is laying in the yard. Brandon Wilson had no idea what he was looking at after it dropped in his Apple Valley backyard yesterday, just four feet behind him. I was just in shock, you know, I felt the ground shake, you know, it's not very heavy, but it came crashing down, that's for sure. Now he realizes it's a weather balloon like this one, which based on the serial number we trace back to the National Weather Service office in Chanhassen but they have been known to travel much further. Here we go. Going up about 1,000 feet per minute, weather balloons like this one, equipped with GPS and radio sons, are launched twice a day. It goes up for about 90 minutes, measuring pressure, temperature, humidity, and wind speeds along the way. That, that little instrumentation is called a radio son. That, that little weird looking box of styrofoam is truly the building block of every single forecast that is made anywhere in the world every single day. There are people working on satellite interpretation to do it. They're fairly good, but apparently they're not good enough yet to get rid of the balloons. So at about 20 miles up into the atmosphere, the balloon eventually pops and a parachute is supposed to help the equipment drift back to the ground where people like Wilson might find them. It's crazy. It's not every day something happens like that. No, it is not. As instructed by the paperwork attached to the weather balloon, Wilson plans to send it back to Kansas City, where it can be refurbished for another flight. Back to you guys. Very cool. Right? Who? I mean, really. Think about it. Around 200 go up every day yeah. across the nation. And no the idea. odds of that coming down and almost hitting somebody, they're astronomical. Crazy. I was kind of hoping that it would have come from a more exotic locale, personally. Well, this than one was Shana. launched in Hawaii or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, not really. They, ri they go so fast. Yeah. Rise to about 100,000 feet. The balloon expands, fails, and they come straight down. Unbelievable. Well, you had time to do an interview for that story today in between <laughs> doing all of this today. Did you have time to eat dinner?